Hello everybody, this is the part of the design where you want to look into the look of your product, basically the aesthetic of the product. To start off working on the aesthetic of the product, let us go back and uh, visit our design specification, which part actually started off talking about why and how your product should look like. Well, nonetheless, the design specification. And the design specification will look something like my product must be attractive to teenagers like me. So basically, you are looking into things that will attract teenagers, shape, colors, all right, uh, and even um, characters that may attract teenagers at your time. Uh, or a design specification like my product must be attractive to sportsmen. So basically, it will be very related to what kind of sports that uh, you particularly will be interested in. So you can be tennis, it can be badminton, it can be swimming. So all this thing, you will draw your um, inspirations and images from when it comes to the design of the look of your product. So how do you begin actually looking into the shapes? Now, uh, supposedly I am a marine lover. And basically, my design spec will be looking into, I like to design uh, a product uh, aesthetically attractive to people who love marine life, who are marine lovers. So I will start off with an image board that consolidate uh, things to do with marine creatures or marine. So in particularly, if you look at my image board, they are filled with fish, different type of fish coral, um, jellyfish, octopus, things that I can find in the sea or the ocean. So that will become my starting point where I gather all these related images. And so with the images that you are interested in, you can now start off with a technique called shape borrowing. And I will not go through uh, the detail of shape borrowing uh, at this moment because I have the assumptions here that all of you would have learned your shape borrowing before you embark on your journey of your, your design. But nonetheless, if you need some revision, uh, there will find you can find the link of how you can do shape borrowing again, doing your own revision uh, once again. And this slide will be more of an interest to you. Uh, it's about, you know, making, moving on from the shapes that you have actually borrowed. How then you can make it more suitable for your design in terms of your project or more related to uh, your projects, right? Which is, I have highly recommend using Scample to help you modify the shape that you have just borrowed using shape borrowing.